after finishing the plan we need to start with the dimensions and text first of all to change it to place any dimension or text you need to change the uh, settings for the annotation so I'll come for annotation here and start with text style which is this icon here click on it and you will get the text style window here you can set a new style so I'll just click on new and type the style name which is for example final or your name or whatever you want the name to be then click on OK you can change the font name from here the font style and the important thing which is the height do not forget to change the height here so the height is the uh, size of your text so let's say we need it to be 150 or 200 or 250 so it's up to you so I'll try now 200 then apply and close if you did this step when you come to type you will not get any problems the font will be clear everything will be clear it will not be too small or too big so to add your text you have two ways you can either select multi-line text or single line text because all of our texts are single lined I will just select single line text so click on single line then click where you want to start your line and then in which direction so I want it to be in zero degree so I'll just click here and start typing living room then you can just click on the other part or the other uh, text and type dining room when you're done you can click anywhere else to continue if you are done you can just press escape to cancel or close the command if the text was too big you can come back here to annotation click on text style and change the height to the height you want for example I will change it to 250 and I will change the font style to bold then apply close and your text will be different now you can select the text here and select the layer text and dimension or you can select the layer before you start after this we need to add the uh, dimension for the dimension you need first to change the dimension style so I'll go to annotation here click on this icon which is dimension style it will open the dimension style manager add a new one so click on new and then enter your name so for the name for example I will just type final and make sure to start with standard and make sure that there are no ticks on annotative then click on continue and now you can start changing all the settings the first thing I will do is go to primary units and change the precision here to just zero because we don't have any points here then go back to text change the text style or you can enter the text height that you want so you can either select a text style for example you can select the uh, final that you already created or you can just keep it standard and change the text height from here to for example 200 or 150 for the text color you need to select by layer so it will be in the uh, the same color as the text and dimension layer then you can select the text placement from here so vertically do you want it to be in the center of the line or above or under horizontally do you want it to be in the center or on the left or on the right and for the view direction left to right or right to left then you need to change offset from dimension line if there is spacing between the dimension and the dimension line which is this one you need to change it from here so for example I will just type 100 then you need to make sure that the text alignment is correct is it always horizontal always horizontal or it's it goes uh, vertically when it's vertical or diagonal so I will select here aligned with dimension line to be exactly the same after finishing the text you will go to the samples and arrows here 
we have the first part, which is the arrowheads. As you can see here, the top of the arrowheads is the closed build, which is exactly what we already have in the standard uh, part. Or if you want to change it, if you have like architectural tech or dot or anything else, you can choose from this list. But because we have the same type, I'll just keep it as closed build. The first one is the one on the right. The second one is the one on the left or the opposite. So you, can, you have to make sure that they are both the same. After this, you need to change the arrow size. The arrow size is what will make the arrow appear or disappear. So if you cannot see your arrows, this means you did not change the arrow size. So I will change it, for example, to 100 or 150. It's up to you. You can um, select whatever size that you see is the same as the one that's given to you. Then we have the center marks. After the arrowheads, we have the center marks, which is this mark here. So if you have a mark in your original plan, you need to add a mark and you need to change the size of it. So let's say that the size is 100 or 50. If you don't have any marks, you can select none. So we've changed the arrowheads, the center marks. Now we need to go to the lines here and we have two types of lines. The first one is the dimension line, which is this one. And then we have the extension lines, which are this one and this one. So for the uh, dimension line, the color will be by layer. Then for the line type, it will be by layer as well. Line weight will be by layer. So everything will go according to the text and dimension layer. Then we'll go to extension line, which is this one. The color will be by layer. And then for the line type, you can see it's not by layer, it's different, it's dashed. So we need to go to line type, extension line one, and change it to dashed, and do the same thing for line type, extension line two, and change it to dashed. Then you have here extend beyond dimension line. If you have an extra part after the dimension line, which is this part, you need to enter the dimension for it. And if you have space from the original point to the dimension line, you need to enter the space for it. So as you can see here, we have like a small uh, space or offset from the original point. So I'll just put it as 100 or 50, it's up to you. And now we are done. After changing all the dimension style settings, you can click on OK. Now you have your own style, then click on close. Now you can start adding the dimension. So I will select from here the types of the type of the dimension uh, line that you want. For example, I need it to be linear, which will be when I select the first point, the second point, it will give me a linear dimension. If you select aligned, you need uh, to click on the first point and the second point and you will get an aligned dimension. This one will be used mostly for angle lines. So we don't need it in this case. You have angular, which will give you the angle between two lines. So angular, select the first line, select the second line, and it will give you the angle here. We have uh, radius as well. Radius will give you the radius for any arch. So you just select the arch here and you will get the radius for it. And this is the center mark that we've talked about. You have diameter as well. So you can click on diameter, select the arch, and then click where you want to place your diameter. So now we have it on this side. Of course, make sure to start with uh, the correct layer, which is text and dimension. Or you can select text and dimension from the beginning and then add your dimension. And this way it will be uh, already in the layer. You don't have to move it later on. So this is how to add your dimension, how to change the uh, dimension style, and how to add your text. Later on, we will start with the uh, section or in, the, in a separate video. So if you want this, you can, or if you want to know how to draw a section, you can go to the next video.